data that's received and spits it out to you on the output now this is a console server code so you're not necessarily going to have a situation where you're not necessarily going to have a situation where you can really just open this up in a window yet I'm actually working on that if you look right here uh, under our server window I was trying to create a simple server but it's not 100% yet it keeps crashing but the server code this console code definitely does work so just trying to give you what works for right now um, it's a very verbose output you'll notice when you run it so pretty much if the last if the last part of the data equals connect then it kicks off our user add uh, and then it takes the person's username and basically just adds the person's username to our users list that's stored up above here in an array list all right and next we have our disconnect which pretty much we go to it's gonna tell everyone that the person has disconnected and we have our tell everyone method which exists down below tell everyone basically we create an iterator and all that iterator does is cycles between the different items within in this case an array list so it's gonna go through and do a specific thing for each person so or for each item that's in the list so we have our print writer and we have our message that's actually sent to this method and all it does is just iterates through and it's gonna print out the message to each individual person that's in the list that's really all it is and so tell everyone and then it removes the person's name which is the first item that normally comes in in the data it's gonna remove the person from our online users and then it's gonna go ahead and tell everyone that the person is no longer online and then we have chat data which of course we pretty much just simply rebroadcast the message out to everyone so really simple and then of course we have our catch here which is that if all this fails then we're gonna say no conditions were met um, so like I said just really simple if you want to look over it of course like I said the the actual source code is available for download right below this video and if you've been through the client end of these videos and you'll notice like I said this is really simple and it and it mirrors the client uh, coding quite a bit so just to show you really quickly how this works both of these together like I said I have both of the projects available here I'm gonna go ahead and click off a client and I'm gonna go ahead and just run alright like I said you're gonna remember this from the first video well st string of videos then I'm gonna go ahead and run this file now it's not gonna pop up in a GUI but for the purposes of NetBeans it's just gonna pop up down here and any output is just gonna come out down here so I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna create a user so just gonna type in user and connect alright you're gonna notice here that we see that user has connected now what happened on the server side alright and we also see here that the person popped up under our online users area first we got a connection so we went ahead and printed out that we got a connection then it received the user then our divider then has connected then another divider and then connect then that data is parsed and divided into three separate items in a string array which is item number zero or our first token is user then we have the actual message itself which is it has connected and that's gonna be item number one and then we have item number two like I said computers read things from zero so it's three items zero one and two and then we have the type of data it is which is connect so here we are and then what it basically does is rebounds all this data back out and as chat data so it tells everyone that the user has connected and it tells it of course that this is chat data and then it also spits out the information for our side area over here which is of course that the user has connected and then once it's done then that tells the client to go ahead and regenerate this area and redo the list and put everything in its correct place so 
like I said, it's really simple. If we type anything in here, just message. 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 All right. Go ahead and send that out. You notice it says user typed in message, message, message. But of course, on our server, you're going to notice over here that we have user, which is once again the first part of the data. And then we have the actual message, which is three words message, message, message. And then we have the last part of the data, which is chat. And of course, according to the server, whenever that last field is chat, all it does is just hands that off to the tell everyone method. So, like I said, really, really simple here. Uh, like I said, trying to currently repurpose this for a GUI. And I'll be getting back with you guys later because currently um, when I click on the start button for this, uh, it works at first, but then it crashes really quickly. So need to figure out what's going on. And it's just part of learning. But glad you guys uh, had a chance to look at it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, of course, like I said, I'm, I'm really teaching myself a lot of this Java. So I'm sure that you all are going to find different things that may need to be fixed with it. And if you do, feel free to let me know. And um, until then, have a good one.